anybody. There's anyone at all. Any any thoughts? Again, <clears throat> we are talking about the the cover, the cover of the book. Truth in advertising, right? Mm-hmm. What does that mean? That's a great question. That's you know. Does do you have any any reactions, a, David, to the title? Well, I see truth, but I'm thinking lies. Yes, in a sense. In a sense, the novel is about lying. Advertising is about lying, though. It is, and the main character works in advertising. He's a, he's a copywriter in New York City, and he's we sort of follow Finn Bardolin through these difficult what? complexities. Now, what's that? Finn Bardolin. What is? Finn Bardolin. Yeah, what is that? Uh, the main character. It's a river elf? It's not an elf. It's a name, that's a, That's quite a name. That's also a girl's name. Great. So he's sort of estranged from his family, so there's complexities there, and he has his dying father, and so he, he deals with that, and that is sort of disillusionment with the industry and his career, and sort of all these complex themes that are addressed. Yeah, it, if I yes. can stop you. Absolutely. It feels like a book that lacks a clear focus. I mean, it would be hard to summarize any novel in just a few words, so. Man-eating shark terrorizes a peaceful beach community. Jaws. That's a good yes. book. That's a this good, is also that's a, book. a good book. I forgot one. Sex. Fifty Shades of Grey. Okay. <laughs> but the book that we're talking about, the book right now that is... Okay. I wound up thinking of an animal. This is good, right? I think they're really getting it. Back to this book, Truth in Advertising. So I have a question. Yeah. Um, is that how big the book is going to be? This is a poster. Personally, I would never read a book that big. That's a mock-up. It's going to be, I mean, the real one's going to be book-sized. 